Not sure if you can use ClickFunnels 2.0 for your online course and if it will be the best choice? This video will help you connect the dots and make a decision. I'm going to show you how the course building in ClickFunnels 2.0 works and what are the advantages and disadvantages of hosting your online course in ClickFunnels 2.0. By the end of this video, you will see for yourself if that's the best way for you to go. Before jumping into the course building in ClickFunnels 2.0, let me clarify one important aspect that you should keep in mind. ClickFunnels 2.0 does not offer a course marketplace, but a platform where you can build and host your course. What's the difference? If you're selling courses through a learning marketplace, you create your course and you upload it to the marketplace, they will brand it and promote it for you in exchange for a cut of the profits. One of the most popular platforms like this is Udemy. Course building platforms like ClickFunnels 2.0 give you the tools to create your courses, register domains and create funnels and pages for your course. However, you need to market your course yourself. The platform does not promote it for you. That also means that you don't give away a portion of your course revenue, you only need to pay the cost of the software subscription. By the way, you can check out the ClickFunnels 2.0 pricing plans by clicking on the card up here. With that out of the way, let's see how easy it is to create a course in ClickFunnels 2.0 and what functionality will be available to you. First of all, you can easily build a structure for your course by adding modules, submodules and lessons. Just click this button, add module, and you will be able to enter the title, description and the path for your module. If you want to add a submodule or a lesson, you just click add content and you can add lessons and submodules to your course. On top of that, the modules have different statuses, they may be in draft while you're working on them. If you're ready to publish a module, then you can set it to public. You can also lock a module, so only specific users have access to this module and choose the drip access, so the module will be available to the audience in, let's say, seven days. If you click here, expand all, you will see all the lessons that are available in the course. And in the settings of the lessons, you can add a thumbnail audio and video materials for this lesson and the rest of the content will be managed in the editor. By the way, your course videos are hosted at ClickFunnels. To edit other lesson content, we use regular ClickFunnels 2.0 drag and drop editor, which is quite easy to use and you don't need any technical skills to be able to build a lesson here. For example, if besides the video that I already attached in the settings of the lesson, I wanted to add some description and links, that's how I would do it. I would open the editor for this lesson, then I would add a section, a row with one column, then I can add a headline, a paragraph, let's make it a bit bigger, change the alignment. If I wanted to add a link to a specific source, for example, you can just do it here, click the link and add the destination for this link. And you can add any other elements that are available in ClickFunnels 2.0 editor for your lesson. For example, an image, another video as well, a button and so on. I will not go into the details of the course building in ClickFunnels 2.0 because that's not the purpose of this video. But if you want to learn more about that, how to build your course in ClickFunnels 2.0, you can check out the video tutorial that I made on this topic by clicking on the card here. Next thing that I wanted to show you, how users get access to your course. What's their user experience after they buy the course or you give them access for free. So when somebody buys your course or they get access for free, they receive an email from ClickFunnels with the link to the sign up page that looks like this. Here they can create their account and access so-called customer center and see your course there. For example, my customer center looks like this and I only have one course here. And if I click on the course, I see the homepage of the course. Also, that's exactly our course about ClickFunnels 2.0 that helps you master the platform much faster than if you would figure everything out on your own. You can find the link to the course also in the description of the video. And alternatively, if you start your ClickFunnels 2.0 trial or get one of the package deals that include ClickFunnels 2.0 using our link, you'll receive this course for free among other bonuses. 
Check out the details in the description of the video. Now that you have an idea of how the course creation in ClickFunnels 2.0 works, let's discuss pros and cons of building and hosting your course there, starting with the good things. The first advantage is that you can save on subscriptions if you are already using ClickFunnels 2.0 for your funnels. In this case, obviously paying for another platform to build and host your course may be unreasonable as you already have a good enough solution for your course in ClickFunnels 2.0 and you are already paying for this software anyway. Second, because ClickFunnels 2.0 combines so many important features, you have a seamless flow of enrolling students into the course and an easy way to track their journey. It means you can see everything in one place, starting from the contact, viewing your funnel page, opting in maybe, going through the funnel, buying the course, receiving follow-up emails, and so on. Last but not least, you can easily draw attention of your course students to other products that you have with the help of the customer center. You can add a promo section to the customer center with a call to action, or even show other products that may be relevant to the students of your course. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of building your online course in ClickFunnels 2.0. First, the course templates are limited to the themes that you can install for your ClickFunnels workspace and they all look similar. That's the theme that I'm using for our workspace and you can see here that it already includes the templates for the course pages like course home, module lessons and lesson page. Naturally, you can customize the look of the course pages, but it's an additional effort, so overall I would prefer more variety here. Next, ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't support comments from your students on specific lessons or some kind of Q&A or discussions. While it's not a crucial feature, I believe it's a nice way to provide some support to your students as they're going through the course, and a lot of course building platforms have this feature. And finally, as I already mentioned, you will have to drive traffic to your course yourself. This point is only valid if we compare hosting a course in ClickFunnels 2.0 and for example Udemy or Skillshare, so the course marketplaces. So if you're looking for something like Udemy, where you publish your course and rely on the platform to market it for you, you should understand that ClickFunnels 2.0 does not offer that. Now let's sum it up. ClickFunnels 2.0 offers a solid solution for building and hosting an online course. The drag and drop editor is really easy to use to build your lessons, upload video and audio materials for your course and customize the look of your course pages. ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't support comments on the lessons and will not promote your course for you. But overall, it's a good, decent solution for an online course, especially if you're just starting as a course creator. That's it for today. I hope that this video helped you to decide if you want to build your online course in ClickFunnels 2.0. If this video was useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos like that, and I will see you in the future videos. Bye-bye.